What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another very brief episode of The Center Beacon. This episode is going to be really short. As always, I'll see you next. Not that short, but pretty short. All we're trying to do with this video is simply get a quick side-by-side -side comparison of Corona build versus the Storm build, and then we're going to see how it does in gameplay. These are the same skills that we've been running in our other Scorpion build comparison videos. I haven't changed anything, so that way we have a little bit of consistency for comparison. So as you go back and review those other videos, you know that none of the skills have changed out, thus altering the results of the tests. Now that said, I have gained a lot more experience with the Scorpion in various different builds, so I think I'll be altering some of the skills that I'm running, and I'll mention some of those changes to my skill setups at the end of the video. Just a quick change from the last video that I did. In the testing portion of this video, we're actually going to take damage while the Scorpion's ability is activated, and we're going to take a look at how the 50% damage mitigation really isn't doing a whole lot for us. So we know the Storms do more damage than the Coronas, and we know the Coronas have perhaps greater utility in that they offer lockdown, whereas the Storms don't. So I'm not pulling back the curtain on any unsolved mysteries here, I'm just trying to give a visual example of what some of these builds are capable of in testing and in live play. The thing that really struck me about this clip was how much damage we were taking, despite having 50% damage mitigation while the Scorpion's ability was active. Clearly, against an opponent like this, we're getting eaten up just as much as he is if we hang in there for too long. So that's why I like to bounce out before he ever even turns around all the way and gets to open fire. Alright, so a secret ability that most people don't realize the Scorpion has is traveling back in time to 2018 and getting shot by Hydras. The Hydras tell me that perhaps everyone here might not be in Champion League. But that's okay, we're just demonstrating things, we're not really trying to hurt anybody. Just gonna try to pick up this beacon here if I can. Probably should have sought cover, but I chose to phase instead, and I think I only neutralized that beacon. I think I see a Spectre or two now over there, which tells me that I'm in probably pretty low league level play, but that's okay. I play at odd times, and I don't squat on this account, so we're not terribly worried about the level of competition over there. I just kind of want to demonstrate some things to you guys about this robot and this build. And my big takeaway from this one is that I'm really going to consider running some heavy armor on this thing doesn't drop in with all that many hit points. Granted, I'm not in a squad. I'm also not running any boosters of any kind. So if I threw out heavy armor or two on here, I think I have the damage to spare even with a build like this with all Coronas and Halos. Certainly with the Storms. With the Adrian Chong pilot that I recommend, that's 5% right there. I think we could put some more meat on the bone with this guy and give him a few more hit points and maybe take a little bit more damage as I translocate into targets, kind of like this fella here, and maybe it will just be able to trade punches a little bit more evenly since this guy is so squishy. All I'm doing here is activating my ability so I get my damage mitigation and speed. I'm gonna knock this guy in the poo real quick and see if I can get away from this out June. I'm not sure that's gonna happen. That guy is tearing me up right there. Let's go to the storm and just do a quick demonstration comparison of the Storm build. Also with a Halo, just because the Halo does more damage than the Gust, so I prefer it. So earlier in the video I mentioned having learned more about this robot and the builds. I think in addition to switching out the thermonuclear reactors for some heavy armors, I also want to change some of the skills. I think I can reasonably give up Thrill Seeker and Destroyer, and what that'll let me do is get back some hit points and then switch those guys out for Foolhardy Quartermaster and Wonder Worker. And Wonder Worker will give me a big heal when I activate my ability, and the Foolhardy will let me trip that phase in a tight spot. So over the last several videos, we've taken a look at a bunch of different Scorpion builds. I'll link those somewhere in the video so you can go back and take a look and try to get an idea of what you might want to run according to your preferences or maybe according to what you have leveled for weapons in your hangar. Hopefully this has been helpful and if it has, please do me a favor and leave a comment, leave a like, 
and don't forget to subscribe. So that's going to do it for this video. I know that that was compressed, but it was a requested video. Somebody wanted to see the Corona build on this thing, so I did my best to give you guys a look at it. As always, I will see you next time at the Center Beacon.